Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Something that's always a very hot topic here in aviation is future concepts. You know, what will aviation look like in the future? And yeah, we have talked about a lot of things in the past on this channel, like the Airbus 2050 model. You know, what an Airbus plane from 2050 might look like. But we have also talked about the future of airports. You no, know, we have talked about the concept of the circular runway and why it's actually a pretty bad idea. We have talked about some concepts like floating airports, which is also very interesting. You know, airports on the water. Today, let's actually talk a little bit about other fl floating airports, right? Yeah, well, this is what we're gonna do today. Yeah, right now we uh, obviously have a Zeppelin with a runway strapped onto it, and there's also a Pilatus PC-12 on it. This is a very interesting one. Yeah, you know, actually, this doesn't seem seem like a very bad idea on first glance. There's actually some people believing that this might be the future of the airport that we know today, even though I highly doubt that, because uh, this airport, it doesn't really make sense. But yeah, you know, let's actually go ahead and do some practical flying first, some kind of takeoff, right? In the Pilatus PC-12, go, go full power. All right, we have 100 knots. We can just go ahead and rotate now, just like that. That was a nice takeoff, wasn't it? Now, what are the advantages of having an airport that is, well, floating in the sky? Yeah, we're actually talking airport now, because it's like in the air, right? There's actually two benefits of having an airport like this. First of all, an airport like this doesn't take away any space at all, which can definitely be a problem in countries in Asia, you know, in big cities where space is very limited. And you know, airports, they do take up a lot of space. So you can save that precious space by instead of building an airport on the ground, you build an airport in the sky. Yeah, that doesn't really make sense, does it? Actually, something that the Asians have been doing recently is building airports on artificial islands that they build. You know, they do that in Japan a lot and Hong Kong as well to, again, save precious land. But I do have some questions about this airport. I mean, you know, how would you even get onto the airport at all? Like, that would be a pretty interesting Uber ride. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I think that is actually the only example I have to give in order to tell you that this will never become reality, right? This obviously will never work in real life. It is kind of a very interesting idea though, isn't it? There's also a genuine problem about building the thing at all in the first place, right? I mean, this right now in front of us is a 1,000 meter long runway that's around 3,000 feet. That's still not gonna be long enough for most big airliners, even though we're of course later on gonna try some big airliners here. But even though this is not long enough, it is still a very, very long Zeppelin, right? I mean, the longest Zeppelin ever built was like 200 meters long. We're just like 20% of what we have in front of us and you know what we have in front of us is still not long enough for planes So building this airport in the first place could also be a big challenge So yeah, we can say that an airport like this will never become a thing But you know what we can still do some practical testing, right? Uh, like trying to land a 737 MAX 10 on here all right, we're going to board the 737 MAX 10 by Boeing. This is actually more of a medium-sized airliner. This is actually not a small one. But is it still small enough for this short runway? Let's find out. Yeah, I don't think I would recommend overrunning at this airport. <laughs> you would just fall to death. Let's get this plane landed. This is going to be quite a hard landing. Let me just say that. All right. No, what the hell just happened? All right, plane dead, but we're still alive. That is uh, weird. Probably we shouldn't have landed as hard as we did. I mean, you know, we did more of a something I call a carrier landing. You know, on aircraft carriers, you have to touch down very, very hard in order to stop. And that's what we did. And... It didn't turn out well, but we did stop as well here, so I don't get what you're complaining about, right? Now, after this highly successful takeoff with the 737, let's try a bigger plane like the 767. Mm -hmm. Let's actually use the whole runway this time around. By the way, something else I've just noticed is that you'll also run into the problem of not having parking space here, right? Yeah, this is a pretty dumb idea. All right, looking good. Let's go ahead and take off. Come on, please take off now. Oh. 
Now that was not bad. Maybe let's try something like a really big airliner now, like the 777. Yeah, landing this plane on a runway that is a kilometer long, that will be quite interesting. All right, let's perform another successful landing. Ooh. Oh no, overrun now, overrun. Okay, time to recover. We have 800 meters of altitude. Let's see if that's gonna be enough to recover from this very big stall that we're on right now. Which we are. That was probably a lot of G-forces put onto the passengers. Some of them might even be passed out, but you know, we, we, we survived. <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe overruns aren't as dangerous here after all. Now, since this didn't work out, let's move on to an even bigger plane, because it makes sense. Now, actually, the 747, it does need a shorter runway than the 777. It's actually quite interesting. Yeah, the very spectacular stopping capabilities of the 747 have always been very interesting. Let's see if they are interesting enough for this runway. <laughs> Oh, yeah, bad landing, very bad landing. But now let's try to stop this plane. Oh, no, rolling off. We are... That was Yoda. Jesus Christ. That was not good. Yeah, we actually veered off the runway this time around. That was not supposed to happen. All right, one more try. Let's do this. Come on, don't die this time around, please. All right, now please stop. Oh, again. <sighs> Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, all right, we just broke the laws of physics right there. I want to look at this again. What did just happen? All right, here's the landing. And then we did this. I mean, the, the plane is still fine, right? Um, maybe this was not that smart of an idea after all. Now, what can we say about this concept? You know, the concept of having an airport that's literally an airport because it's in the, in the sky, right? It's obviously very dumb. It wouldn't work at all. Maybe it works for the PC-12, though. Let's see if it can stop here. Oh, that was really not good. But there we go. That was quite a nice stop, wasn't it? And so, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.